Well, this is the 26th of February, 2024, um, steering committee meeting. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we at this point do not have a uh, quorum in terms of members, so we're not going to engage with uh, action items that require a vote, but um, I can use the meeting to report out uh, on the various items that were on the agenda. Um, and I'll hold off on approval of the minutes for the, for the last meeting. So we're beginning at 7.02. And the first item on the agenda was the commemorative bench. So the Friends of Deerfield were authorized to proceed uh, with the ordering of the bench inscription and arranging for the installation of the bench at the last meeting. And Friends of Deerfield has ordered the commemorative granite bench with inscription from Negus and, Negus and Taylor Monuments of Greenfield. It was agreed that the inscription would consist of the Deerfield 350th logo, time capsule, and, and 2023. Uh, Friends of Deerfield provided a mock up of the inscription as requested. Uh, and it was submitted to all members of the steering committee, and all the uh, responses were positive. Um, to expedite the order, it was agreed the Friends of Deerfield would use its account for the purchase and would subsequently invoice the town for the cost. Steering committee authorized an amount not to exceed $2,750. Friends of Deerfield has submitted its invoice to me and I've approved and submitted an invoice of $2,728 to the town. The exact location of the pad and bench near the current Town Hall in South Deerfield has yet to be finalized following any discussion we might have this evening, should we get a quorum or after approval and after approval of the town fathers, a dig safe review and any other requirements that we need. So for those of, for those who are on right now, which is uh, Diane and myself, we met with uh, Stan and Alex after the um, meeting uh, that you had last week and went out front and had a look at the areas. And I think we've pretty well agreed in principle to uh, a location uh, a little bit to the west of the front access for the, uh, or east for the front access to the town hall in the lawn. Uh, but it needs to be finalized. So we'll table that uh, decision until next meeting. Um, at our last meeting, uh, it was anticipated that the bench installation would be accompanied by a public event for its dedication, probably during Founders Day weekend on May 5th. Uh, and then I had a subsequent request from Sue Antonellis uh, from the Rec Department about change of date and also potential funding. That'll require a vote and some discussion on our part, but. Um, uh, we were also uh, had a chance to talk to Stan and, and Alex about that same thing as well. But I've sent a copy of my communication back and forth with Sue on that particular item so that to all the committee members so we can discuss that at the next meeting. The other thing related to that is that Sue wanted some funds for some uh, events, um, things like bunch. Uh, bouncy houses and stuff, but she has not given me a budget, so I couldn't present a money item anyway for discussion tonight. Um, so, Holly, so, so, Peter, to so yeah. Peter, to that point, um, we went back and looked at the records that we had from June of 2020. Yeah, it must have been numbers. And, um, and there were some numbers, and it, it totals probably close to, it involved it not just bounce houses because we kind of use that word loosely, but also obstacle course, things like that, lots of things, plus a band, and it totaled uh, just under seven thousand dollars. So you know, thinking about inflation and if there's any premiums we have to pay to have the vendor cover liability insurance, you know, you're talking eight thousand pounds, and um, and we're investigating and following up because everything changes from one year to the next in terms of 
the liability insurance going through the vendor, not through the town of Deerfield or the Friends of Deerfield, where we be other insured on their policies. And I think that's important to the select board. Did we follow up on that and get that correct, you know, updated and correct? And so, so by the next meeting, we would definitely, and even if we have to, if you, even if you have to call a meeting early, if you will, um, we can get that sorted and sign contracts and, and decide on that. The whole concept of combining the um, the uh, time capsule burial with this long overdue because it got canceled back in June of, of 2023 um, because of weather um, sure. with with a with a kids event, a family event, et cetera, was just to um, get more participation and more attendance, period, by putting it all together. And the, and the Friends of Deerfield, if, even if it's an expanded event on June 8th is the, the date that's been I've heard about, um, we'll we'll be on the hook for the refreshments, the food and the soft drinks. Okay, well, it remains to be seen, you know, what Sue ultimately comes up with. She was talking about a band and whatever, but I think I talked to Carolyn briefly and she said that she has money in her budget for some of that. So it may just be more isolated items. But if you've got it, if you've got tabulation of different things on your end, as soon as she can get a budget and what she exactly wants us to cover, then we can begin to go back and forth on that. Um, I'll work with Sue as soon as she gets back from her vacation. I okay. think she comes home tomorrow or something. All right. Uh, and in terms of the plaque, um, I think for those of us who are here, we know the plaque exists. And uh, I it's gave it nice. to Kevin. He's uh, due to put it up next to the mural. It's not up there as of today. Um, Very nice compliment to the uh, mural. Very nice. Yeah, I think it, I think it will be. And um, in terms of the working history group, um, we're still, I'm working still on the oral, um, the podcast that focuses on Deerfield and one of our members here is a, one of the primary speakers in that. <laughs> Smile, Diane. I still haven't even listened to myself. They gave me <laughs> recordings and I just like, no, no, I can't do this yet. <laughs> Maybe someday if I'm going on a trip, I can listen to myself for a while. <laughs> I think what I do, it's, okay, so what, what basically happened is I was working with Michael Klein and then they had a major software glitch and we just lost a bunch of stuff. And I just said this, we both sort of said, this is not gonna work. So I found another, uh, there's a, Ben Roberts works for FCAT and he does oral editing and stuff like that. So he's working on it right now. He's got a number of tracks laid down. They really sound good. So I think we'll have a product within a month or so uh, that we could use. And if we do, I may just cut out your piece and play it for the steering committee at the next meeting. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I told uh, you I had crib notes. If I went off subject, I had like, I sort of glanced. It's like, what can I talk about next? <laughs> and I had to take you know, my bracelets off because I kept chinging. <laughs> for the well, microphone. We, uh, <laughs> you might get a kick out of this. We just uh, um, interviewed a, a I think a distant, probably a cousin of some sort to you, Stanley Phil. Oh, my Uncle Stanley. Yeah. Did he tell you how old he is? He's 102 and seven months, I think. He has it to the day. Days, yeah. Yeah, he is to the day. We don't sing, we can't sing Stola because Stola means 100 years, 100 years. There's sort of like an addendum to 150 or live forever oh, yeah. type of. Thing, but he does ancestry and he is still smart as a tack. He really yeah, is. He was fun. Yeah. Oh, um, you did, I'm glad you did him. Good. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, just a, a report out on the time report. I've got the uh, subcommittee's reports. Diane gave me a report. Uh, Kelly gave me a report. Um, Holly gave me her report. So, I've got those and then I can, I'm, I'm going to put the rest of the stuff together. So hopefully within a week or so I can get a draft text. Are those um, the, are those going into the time capsule? 
No, this is going to be a town report. Oh, okay. All right. But if the town report, report, report will be in maybe I'll now. throw a copy of mine in the Deerfield book that has all the signatures. You know, just yeah. just because. Okay, um, I'm pretty well. I mean, that's basically what I can tell you in terms of the agenda. Um, I, I we're still not seeing anything of Carolyn, and uh, I don't know if. Uh, um, I don't think it's probably not worth waiting. You guys want to tell us about what we... you've done with the stone so far? How that's going? It's on order, and and so um, they're they're presumably they're working on it. Okay. Uh, you don't have the template yet, yeah. Christy, yeah. Christy. You have a timeline on the stone, or the on the bench. They're Buddy. waiting for. It. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, they're sir. waiting for the um to. We wanted you to prove the uh, the lettering on the stone. Yeah, we and did then, that already. Then we'll be finalized. Yeah, we did that already. Yeah, we were going to see the template, though. Weren't yeah, they? Yeah, we were, we I mailed it out to everybody, and everybody that responded is where they were all. Oh, home. the one that they're doing with the uh, the special um, acid etch or something like that. Okay, yeah, I'm cool with that. All right, I forgot that was. So then I can go tomorrow and just sign the. Contract and we're all, I mean, finalize the contract. As far as I'm concerned, I mean, I sent, I sent, the copy that you, you sent me your proof. Yeah. I sent it to all the committee members and said, please respond. And they, all the people that responded were all positive. So, okay. So I'll, I'll finalize that. Okay. Yes. Onward. But meanwhile, meanwhile, because we paid, they're already getting the stone. That's yeah. the first step, okay. right? To get the stone out of the court. Right. I just didn't know if they had given you some kind of perspective date about when they expected to have it done. But then if again, if you hadn't signed the contract, they probably would couldn't have done that already. So we'll just hold off. I was just curious. We'll give an update on timing in the next meeting. Yeah, that's fine. Even as if it as, isn't all the way at the end of March, maybe we'll do something in between. I don't as know. as far as where the stone goes, um, Either we meet in mass and look at it, or somebody put a stick someplace, two sticks, and uh, or something to um, map delineate, it out. Delineate where it's going to go. Yeah. But I mean, we I got a couple of grade them. stakes. We could just meet down there and put in four grade stakes, and yeah, see, this is the this is the area, and uh, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna need to clear it with the select board, and we gotta do dig safe and all that oh, other stuff. So, Alex, good. didn't we tell Alex to do the dig safe? Yeah, well, probably. <laughs> but uh, if you know, was... if the stake, if the stakes are out there, maybe Stan and I can meet down there one week, or you know, one day this yeah, week. Yeah, and just put them out and, uh, and put them out. I was and okay with that. No. We we can measure the width and the and the length and say, well, this is. You know approximately where we put it and and um then anybody can look at it we can just yeah. tell them we'll find the four grade state yeah. holly and kelly <laughs> can still have an option yeah. Yeah. And, I, and i think while i kind of like the notion of founders day having that many more people be available for the dedication as well as an, an event i think that it makes sense to combine them if we if we decide to support that the rec um, proposal. So we'll probably hear more from um, Sue yeah. uh, next month. Then hopefully yeah. she'll have everything together. Well, I I can I'll send her an email uh, after the meeting tonight saying <coughs> that I sent it out to everybody. The correspondence, everybody on the steering committee should know. And, and if, once she comes up with a a proposal and a budget estimate of what she'd like to see, then we can, sh I'll share that before the meeting so that we have a chance to think about it. Um, actually, this isn't a steering committee thing. This is more of a Friends of Deerfield thing though, isn't no, it? No, because Friends of Deerfield is not gonna fund it all. They're looking to the steering committee budget to fund it. Oh, okay, all right. Because this is, uh, this is okay. This Diane, this is left over from last June. I told, the, oh, I totally understand. It just where, where the town agreed to do the, to 
the rec, the rec committee side of it, the town decided to support it, but we canceled it. And we yeah. and Sue oh, told yeah. all those vendors we're going to reschedule it, so don't charge me a penalty. So, so they haven't it? charged any penalty for canceling last minute. Yeah. Oh, and I yeah. That we're going to engage with them again. Yeah, that works. Yeah. That works. So you know, I I think we need to find all the variables because I didn't hear anything about the penalty part of it. So you know, what comes out and. We need a longer discussion to look at all the variables that are at play here. Do you know what our penalty is? Now, I mean, generally when you cancel something that short it's, notice, it's 15% of yeah. the total cost at least. Yeah. Um, but, but you know, they, in good faith, they know the town of Deerfield and they it's, said, well, you know, Sue said, we're gonna do this again, either later this fall or next year. And that's where we're at. Okay. All right. So I don't think the penalty is following her, but should she try to negotiate again? You know, yeah. if she if it's not if she says I gotta cancel, it may yeah. it may be in, attached. Yep. Do you wanna say something, Pat? Carolyn's not coming. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. we're gonna I, I think we're through with the meeting. Uh I've pretty much laid out all that uh I can in terms of just information. And uh, so we will table these items until next meeting. And um, well, I don't know if we do, if we don't have a quorum, should, do we even have the, the ability to close the meeting? <laughs> I'm concerned we'll close it as <laughs> chair. We never actually open the meeting. I think what you do is you just continue it, Peter. That's oh, yeah. OK. So we'll, con we'll, we'll uh, there's a word for that. Is it is it continue or is it, it adjourn uh, until inter, uh, adjourn until March twenty fifth, twenty twenty four, which is our next meeting. Absolutely. Okay. And ours we will close. Stan, we will close it. And so oh, both, right. of, both of us yeah. are agreeing yes. that the motion is to close our meeting. So this meeting is adjourned until at seven thirty six p.m. Oh, 7.18 p.m., sorry. Yeah, I was going to say... <laughs>